Hello everybody, my name is Susho. welcome back to Let's Play Feed the Beast Monster, where we last left off, we were talking about magical crops, and I didn't do anything in between the episodes, because I just recorded that one, but I have crops, I don't really need to harvest them or anything, just, I have crops that I can grow, I can grow anything I want, pretty much, I can grow, I can grow emeralds, I can grow diamonds, I can grow redstone, I can grow iron, I can grow whatever the hell I want, so shut up, and you listen to me, because I'm the new master here. Anyway, this episode we're going to talk about power, as you see, I don't have any power of any kind, I, um, am pretty pretty behind. This is episode, what, like 16, and I still don't have a proper source of power. So what I wanted to do is get, first of all, lava going, and then after that, we can talk about um, biofuel, or MJ power, or RF power, whatever the hell it's called, okay? So, lava. I used to fill this up with lava, and then this would take it in here automatically, and I get, ooh, lots of power. It isn't happening. I don't have any lava left. I forgot to show off this last, last episode, by the way. I actually did increase my storage. For one thing, ender pouches are bigger naturally. They used to be half the size of this. They used to be worth one chest uh, slot. But now they're worth two. So will the ender chest also basically got upgraded. So that's extra storage right there. Stop it! Whatever you are, stop! And then the second order of business was this. As you can see here, I have a knapsack and from Tinker's Contract. It's made like this with iron tough rods. Uh, leather and gold. It's really cheap to make that way. The iron tough rod is pretty much the hardest part. And then you, you get some storage that's automatically on your person. So it's pretty cool in that sense. Uh, although, with ender pouches, if you put something in here and then you die, you don't lose it because it goes to the ender pouch. However, if you die with this on you, this stuff will get lost. Because if you don't pick it up, rather, it will get lost. It'll stay, it'll stay there, but I don't think it'll stay in the backpack. If I take off the backpack, will the items fall out? I don't know. I guess not. Okay, so whatever. Um, this episode with power, right. Um, so, stop it! What are you? What are you? Oh, you're a tr Oh, the tree is doing it. Okay, so now I know it's the tree. I knew it was the tree all along. Let me just take you out for a second, and then we'll take you out. My awesome sword is amazing. My awesome sword is amazing. Redundant much? Anyway, uh, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk power. Guys, lava is the first order of business we're going to be talking about today. And lava, where's the best source of that? The nether. Of course. Obviously. I'm not having lava generators in this version of it. I'm just going to go to the nether. And we're going to need to pump it out. Unfortunately, pumping lava from the nether takes a lot of... You'll have to make a chunk loader, which is laggy. The whole, com the whole game will just be, like, all crappy if I do that. Especially pumps, because when I pump out lava, I'll be end up leaving lava uh, flowing. And flowing blocks of lava causes a lot of lag. But there's a solution for that, guys, and that is called the endothermic pump. It's from this thing right here. It's called from Extra Utilities, called the endothermic pump. It's actually made to pump lava out of the nether. If you want to pump lava out of some a, a different dimension, you have to go to the config and say, pump out of that dimension. To make it pretty cheap, an ender eye, uh, iron pickaxe, water bucket, lava bucket, diamond, and this stuff in the corner right here, uh, ender-infused obsidian is just one of one ender pearl and some obsidian. Ender pearls aren't an issue for me. Obsidian, I use a hammer, I get a ton of it, and you get four from one. So not bad. And so what it does is what it does is it what it does is is I'm not stuttering guys. You are just having issues with your computer. It's lagging on you or something. I'm joking. I did that on purpose. I don't actually have that much of a speech impediment or a speech problem. I don't have a speech impediment at all. Or maybe I do, who knows? Um So what this does is it'll pump lava out as any pump would, but it doesn't require a chunk loader because it keeps it, it keeps the minimal amount of chunks. It's meant to be lag-free as much as possible. It keeps the minimum amount of chunks loaded that it can. So it keeps the, it, the chunk that it's in will stay loaded, and the chunk that it's pumping lava out of will stay in. If you pump lava out of a huge pool for a large area, also what it does is instead of it removing the source block and then letting lava flow, it removes the source block and then replaces it with cobblestone, which you don't have to um, give it. It automatically just generates cobblestone or something. Um, and, it, and then it does that without causing a block update, which means you're pumping lava out, you're getting tons of source blocks, and it's not causing any lag because blocks aren't being updated. Not only that, it actually doesn't just take from the surface and then pull up. It goes, takes the chunk it's in, that it's pumping out of, and goes from bottom to top, left to right. It does it magnificently. It's a great item. The, uh, there's actually a quarry, an ender, an ender quarry or whatever it's called, an endothermic quarry. I don't know what it's called. Um, 
it does the same thing. It doesn't cause any block updates when it mines, and it replaces it with dirt. So it's like, I might think about using that, so you can do it in the, in the overworld and not risk it being ruined. I don't care, however, if the lava is disappearing from the nether, because I don't give a crap about the nether. So it needs power, obviously, and to power it, I'm going to be using um, Magmatic Dynamo, because, as you can tell, it runs off of... It generates redstone flux, but it generates hot flu... It requires, sorry, requires hot fluids, generates power. And that's why I'm going to power it, because it, if it pumps lava, I can get lava out of it, and stuff like that. I was originally going to use the steam dynamo, but the steam dynamo requires water and solid fuel, which means coal, not really worth uh, maintenance on that front. Um, to make the magmatic dynamo, you just need uh, a redstone transmission coil, which is mm, silver and redstone, as well as lots of invar the invar gear which is for invar around iron and just invar ingots invar to be made you need to make the the uh the invar blend which is just two iron dust and one ferrous dust and not too hard to make i actually left my ferrous all in dust form if i ever needed invar i actually built a bunch of stuff with invar that i'll talk about later these machines mainly so i don't have very much invar left this right here is my invar stack 41 uh ingots worth so I'll pump, I'll pump it down and show you what it does. It requires, it makes redstone flux, which is a new sort of power for, for a thermal expansion, and then it requires lava. Not too difficult. Do I have? All right, whatever. Um, I'm gonna use these transfer pipes to transfer the liquid. Uh, another thing I'm gonna need to bring it back here is is an ender tank. It's not the most efficient way because it does it, like a, a test rack would be better, but I don't have the means to make a test rack just yet. I do, but I don't want to set it up. I'm lazy. So to make the Ender tank, which basically works like an Ender, it makes it works as an Ender chest, but with liquids, which is pretty impressive. So you just it's just a cauldron, wool, blaze rod, and whatnot. I need to make two of these, I think. Yeah, two of them. So let's get on that. I think I have wool somewhere. Well, I have blaze rods. I have that. I swear I made these already, but maybe not. Guess not. Uh, what am I gonna need again? I'm, God, my memory is so bad. Cauldron. Why did I do that? I don't know. Two of those. Um, wool. I'll need two wool. I need more blaze rods, which I think I have. I could be wrong. If I don't have any more blaze rods, we might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, I think this is the only blaze rods I have. Which means I can't make it. What? No. We're going to have to do this. Um, I need four just for one. Do I have any more blaze rods anywhere? I guess not. Alright, well, we're going to have to go to the nether. So let me put this stuff in the chest. Right, let me put it in my ender chest, in my ender pouch, so at least I have it on me. Yeah, so alright, let's, let's go. One thing I, I don't like, um, for some reason my key bindings don't stick for flight controls. Like, I have my, whatever that would be, uh, but my flight control, because I think it's bound to other things, it doesn't actually save when I, when I want to save, so... If you don't understand what I'm saying. How's my power doing? Good. It's still pretty much full. So we'll head into the nether. Um, and we'll just kill some blaze rods. And we may even go hunting for some wither skeleton skulls if I can. Because this sword is pretty good. It's slow, which means if I have a, a bits of lag, I might have issues. But I don't got to worry about that. Um... There you guys are. Wait, can you guys stop for a second? I just want to get these guys. That's pretty impressive, actually. I'm getting tons. Luckily, I have magnet on or whatever, so I I, I already have five, and I and I already had two, so I only need one more. But I I might gonna collect some more. I'm, I might while well, well, I'm here. Actually, well, I'm gonna be back here soon enough anyway. To I'm not getting too much lag actually, which is surprising. I don't exactly understand why. Come here. 
You're a quick. You're not even a wither skeleton. You're a quick skeleton. You cheater. You trying to lie to me about this stuff? I've also been collecting this mimicite stuff because I can use it to multiply things, which is always good. I haven't actually been using it, but I can actually use it in ME to multiply the processors that I need to make for ME, which is godly in my opinion. So, hey, I can actually. I'm, I'm actually gonna take those spawners. I found a way to pick up the spawners because the force wrench doesn't exist, so I can't. But I found a way to pick up spawners, which I'm gonna be using later on um we'll talk about that later you guys didn't get anything that's all right i'm gonna just head back for some reason it doesn't work when i want to teleport to the to that portal i don't know why oh you're you have resistance or something I didn't kill you one shot. Mm. Hey. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let's go back to the portal. Now that looks weird with my night vision stuff, but hey, whatever. Um Right. Probably should have cut out me getting that stuff, but who cares? If the episode's long, then we won't cover we won't cover the other type of power we're gonna do, just this power. Um, but anyway. Let's get to it. Let's. What? What do I want? I don't want the arrows or the gold nuggets or that. I'll keep. I should keep the bones, but not right now. Um, I've been putting this stuff in here. I think. Yeah. Okay. So we have this stuff now. Let's make it. Do 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 do. Oops. Uh, here, here. You don't want to work for me. That is completely fine with you, but not with me. What goes at the bottom? An ender pearl. Well, damn it. That's why I don't. Ha that's why it's not working. I don't have ender pearls on me. I totally ignored that. Oop. Oop, what was that? That was weird. Now you should work, right? Yay, two. Good, 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 good. This is very good, guys. Very good. I'm just gonna throw you in here for sake like of convenience. And now what we can do is we can. Actually, I don't think this this transfer things will work. I don't want to use them. I don't want to transfer. I'm not sure if they're going to work or not. I might as well use these things right here. The liquidux, the fluidux. They used to be called liquidux. Now they're called fluidux. There's opaque ones and there's... I'm just going to take these. To make them uh, is fused uh, hardened glass or fused quartz and when copper and you get six. Uh, the problem is with hardened glass, you need the infection smelter, and you need to smelt pulverized obsidian and lead. I don't have that set up right now, and I don't have this stuff going. So I used I used the actual the other thing, which is really e easy to make. It's a uh, fused quartz. It's just four quartz in the alloy smelter, which I happen to have right here. The alloy smelter is really good because it actually smelts three things at once. You can, it, but the thing is, it takes three times as long, and it isn't extremely fast, and it runs on RF. So I have these two sterling generators beside it, uh, generating power for it. You put coal in there, which I use the, the the charcoal for, and I just put some power in it. I wanted to see if the sterling engine was faster. I don't even know if the sterling engine worked because I didn't probably test it. But what I do is, you basically put just put four quarts in there, and you get hardened glass. I have a I have a hopper down there, but just in case you want to know. So yeah. So I made that real easy. Uh, one thing I did forgot to mention: Nether redstone and ne or Nether redstone ore and Nether lapis ore. When you put them in the macerator, you actually get 24 out of it. So I get 24 redstone from one ore, which is immensely amazing because you get so much of it. That's how I got so much. Just uh, just saying, the Nether ore, the Nether, the Nether ores are four times as good as the ones on the Overworld. So just if in case you wanted to know, uh, I need some blocks actually. I have, I need some blocks. 21 should be fine if it's not who really cares let's go to the nether again and set this up i'm so hungry i haven't eaten anything i should go get some food i'm gonna end the recording and get some food and i'll come back i actually do know what i'm gonna be doing for my third let's play like simultaneously i just in case i went because i'm not doing Pixelmon anymore if you, if you guys didn't get the message i'm not doing that anymore um huh no damage taken. 
So I could set up the... the I want to set the pump up a little bit lower, actually. Let me see if I can find lower ground. I can. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. What is this? Is this lapis or Yeah, I want to get this to, just so I can show you. Oh, dear. You, I hate you. You blow up for no reason. Anyway. Um, there's no point in silk touching it or using fortune on it because um, it doesn't work. It, you get the ore. You don't get the, the actual item. I got, I got withered? What? I might actually die. Is that what's going to happen here? Don't do this to me. Good. I think those, give, those things give you withered too as well. So if I, so if I use fortune on it, nothing's going to happen because... I get that. I'm not going to mine that quartz because then I'll have Pikmin all after me. And it might blow up. I don't want it. Oh, they came after it anyway. You alright? You alright, guys? This stuff is also good to get. The Nether Essence. Because they don't get mad and you get a bunch of it from it. One. But anyway, uh, we have this here. I'm going to actually extend the platform out a little bit. Just so I, Actually, no. I'm just going to break this. In the nether, you have to be careful with, with uh, breaking things, because your durability on this stuff goes down really quickly, and you don't even realize it, because you could accidentally break, like, ten nether rack and not even realize because of how fast your tool is. So I warn you to be careful, because durability will go down quick. And I never used to have an issue with durability, which is why I never cared if I used paper for products, because the durability didn't matter to me. But the durability has started mattering to me when I come to the nether, because I go through it so quickly. This is why Reinforced 3 is really good, because the Reinforced 3, if you didn't know, was Unbreaking 3. So, anyway, I have some, wait, can I get this too? Just as much as I can get is good. I'm sorry, I'm sidetracking. Let me just get this set up. Um, so we have this thing. I'm not sure if I have to put it over the lava or not. I think I might. If I have to, then bang, we're good. And then next we have to, basically, I'm going to put this on top of it. I don't know why it's, it's doing that glitch thing. Okay, anyway. And then I'll put this right... Right here, I think. And... Well, crap. I forgot that I needed... What are you doing? Don't, I hate you guys because you throw these weird things at me. I think they give you nether rack. The nether war. Stop it! Where are you shooting from? Where, where am I being at you? I might as well go in peaceful. This is so irritating. You, God, where are you guys coming from? Anyway, I'm going to... Yeah, get rid of that. Get some lava. Get one bucket of lava. And then put it in there. As you can see, this thing instantly filled up. And as you can see over there, it's starting off from the chunk. And it's actually put is that it's putting smooth stone down, not cobblestone. And it's what it's going to do is basically, it doesn't have anywhere else to go. The, the inventory it's going into is full already. So there's like no, I, I actually don't remember. There's no point in beginning anymore. But if I come back here, once I, I set the other one up, which I should have when I was in the overworld, you'll see that the stuff is disappearing. And you, like it didn't, you didn't even notice. No, nothing happened. No lag occurred when the stuff was being mined out. We just have stone appearing. It's amazing. Um, and the power... And this thing will stay powered if I put lava in like that, I think. Yeah, this thing's being filled up with lava now. So now we have infinite power uh, in this case. It only requires one of these as well. And then we also have this thing being sent out. And I think I need to do blue for sending. I don't know which one it is. I don't think it matters, actually. So we do that. It's sending out to white, white, white... Now let's go. Set, and as you can see, I, this ender tank, which is also white, 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 actually changes. It actually has lava in it. So now I'm gonna go back to the overworld to my tank, and uh, to my open blocks tank, which I'll be using from forever from now on. I don't even give a crap about rotary or uh, railcraft tanks because open blocks are so much better, so much more versatile, so much more creative. You could do. I can make walls out of tanks and just have lava filled in. It's amazing. Um. So now I go back here, and I just plump this down here. And if I flip that around to blue, because you can see it's being it's being sent with per with orange, I think. So I switch that to blue, and it should fill this up, which it is. This will fill this up all the way to the top, and it'll automatically always come in once this stuff is used. This thing will go into the generator, and it'll go into the power, and I'll have massive storage now. So now I have infinite lava generation. Pretty cool. That is infinite power, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, comment, subscribe, and... 
definitely tell me if you like. This method is awesome, and I really recommend it for anyone who wants lots of power. We don't have any power, so I needed it. Next episode, we'll cover other types of power for RF. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys then. I am actually getting lots of lag. I'm getting my frames just dropped when this stuff's coming in. But I think once it stops filling up and updating, uh, I'll be good. Anyway, see you guys then.